So my project is um, it's basically an audio guidance yeah. aid for the visually impaired, uh, which it was inspired by bats and the way that bats get around just using sound. So what I did is I got a whole load of sensors, mounted them to some headphones, uh, and the sensors do that bit so they detect where the obstacles are, and then I feed that back through the headphones so you hear a sound coming from the direction that an obstacle is in. The project's gone down well. Um, I was voted for the best stand by the fellow music students, so that was really great, uh, really nice as well. Um, and it's just nice to be able to show the other students what I've been doing for my dissertation. Everyone works on their projects on their own, so it's nice to kind of come together and get everyone trying it out. It's been great. The degree at Bournemouth it covers a wide range of things, so we, we've got skills in lots of different areas of audio, uh, which means we can kind of go into lots of different jobs, lots of different markets. I've done some radio stuff, some live sound stuff, as well as programming, uh, various business aspects as well, so we're, yeah, we're well equipped to go out into anything. It's really, really good to be able to speak to people who have no idea about the project and uh, be able to explain it to them and have, have their feedback basically, you know, especially the businesses coming today, hearing what they've got to say and how ha happy they are about it and uh, how into it they are, how, they want, how much they want to hear about it, so yeah, it really gives you a little bit of a boost. You, you kind of think of it as a, just a uni project, but a day like this makes you realise that you could take it further if you wish. My project is uh, post-life festival. It's, uh, it's a funeral urn to replace the conventional uh, ornamental urns of today. The aim is to celebrate the life that it contains. We all get tasked at the start of the year to come up with a solution to a problem in today's society. So I looked at um, elderly people, why is it that they become increasingly frail at such a quick rate? So what I wanted to do was create a product that was easy and accessible for people to use in their own homes. So that's when I came up with Encore. And what Encore does is it takes um, an already existing product on the market, which is a balance board and it makes it safer and more accessible for the elderly people to use. So it's nice to see like everyone's products here and um, also just a few of the people that come around. Uh, I had a chiro chiropractor speaking to me and you know when you get people from the industry talking to you you can think about ways to improve it, uh, people give you a good piece of advice and it's nice to just be able to talk through it after a year of working on it.